John McCain, do not accept a cabinet pick of Secretary of Defense or any cabinet pick. This is an old Soviet-style ploy to where he uh, shuts you up, uh, just like he's done Hillary Clinton. He's got the opposition under his control. We see through that. McCain, you will no longer be a maverick if you do that. You are needed more uh, as an opposition to this guy in the Senate. You will become a traitor to folks that believe in you. This is not bipartisanship. This guy is going to have problems keeping the military intact. He, he will put you or wants to put you as Secretary of Defense to say, hey, look, all you Republicans, keep on fighting for us Democrats because most of us Democrats don't join the military. McCain, don't do it. It's wrong. Don't call yourself a maverick if you accept the pick. You just fell right in with the crowd. It's almost like putting a bullet through the head of his opposition. If you do this, you're going to cause about 10 million people to possibly revolt against this guy. And I mean 10 million armed United States citizens. It's a mistake, John. A mistake. Look, you're a hero. I respect you. But man, not if you do. Not if you fall into this ploy. It's ridiculous. Look. This man aspires to be a dictator. He aspires to probably be a world leader type dictator. Look, folks, if this doesn't scare you, then there's no hope. You know, all this talk about, hey, he's my president now, and I'm going to support him, that's not right. This guy legitimized, legitimizes terrorism. He thinks Bill Ayers is okay. He thinks that this maggot, Bill Ayers, this wimp, this coward, who would never harm anybody right to their face, he's got to go hide little bombs and run away. He says this guy's a great educator. McCain, don't be fooled. He knows. Look. I'm going to have trouble with the military because most of the folks that voted me in, they will never serve in the military for me. I've got to keep those white southern males, the Midwest males, uh, people that are true patriots, I've got to keep them in the military and keep them going because the folks that voted me in are not going to do it. This is his mindset, McCain. You know what he's doing. Look, there's nothing wrong with dissent in this country. There's nothing wrong with not wanting to fund this guy or serve in his military. There's nothing wrong with that. Not, not, not wanting to serve in his military because of his ideology. He embraces racism. That, that was evident with Jer Jeremiah Wright, another coward maggot. Full of hatred. Bill Ayers. Look at, look at his pick. John, for chief of staff, an unpatriotic scumbag who doing the Gulf War, which I served in, this guy runs to Israel, dual citizenship, my butt. That's fine if it's just for convenience, but if you dual citizenship and, 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 and you work for America and you're, you're an American politician, you don't run to Israel? During America's time of need? Where's the maverick in you, John? You're going to be pathetic. Look, you've already made a couple of bad decisions. I've forgiven you because I don't think any of those politicians know what they're doing with, with our economy anyway. I don't blame you for that. I think it was a bad decision. But, man, if you take any cabinet post of his, especially Secretary of Defense, you know, I say about 10 million Americans because out of the 50-some million uh, that voted for him, you, you can knock out about 40 million that, 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 that are cowards. I, I truly believe that. 
I, I hope it's not true. But even 10 million folks standing up against this guy and saying, hey, you're not my president. I'm not unified with you. John, you do, you, you're do. you going to do more by staying in the Senate. That's being a maverick. You don't fall right in line and lockstep with a guy that you yourself know aspires to be something that he's not. This guy is not God. You know, it's funny. The Democrats have now found religion. They have now found a God. They now worship human beings. Nothing ever good has come out of people that worship human beings. Jonestown. You know, Idi Amin. Hitler. I, I'm sorry. I, I've got to make a stand. Look, I didn't hire this guy. I don't even know who he is at all. He won't even release his medical records. John, you, you released most of yours. I don't like his resume at all. What resume? Look, his grandmother uh, had a memorial service. Obama was absent. He was gone. Look, he's not running anything right now. Why didn't he take a little time, fly over there? Give a little speak. He loved her so much. The hypocrite Obama. Yeah, you're needed elsewhere, right? No, there's only one president at a time, Obama. You didn't have a... You know, few hours to fly over there and say something at her memorial? Your beloved grandmother? McCain, don't do it, man. Be the maverick you claim you are and remain where you can hold this guy at bay. United States, don't, don't be fooled by this. This is a ploy. He's going to... Uh, Clinton... And McCain uh, talk about he's Abraham Lincoln. This is a ploy. That is getting your opponents into where you control them, to where you have no opposition. Look, he already owns the news media, for Christ's sake. That's what you see in communist countries, folks. The news media, with, pretty soon we're going to see Obama's picture all the time. I've been in communist countries when the Soviet Union and the Soviet bloc. You saw the pictures of the fool everywhere. And there will be, his, his, will, his face will now be on a dollar bill because you fools will say, well, let's do it now. We're awarding this guy before he's even proven himself. The last time I saw leaders face on, on, uh, on, 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 on currency was uh, Saddam Hussein. <laughs> you look at the Saudi Arabia <laughs> currency, I think, unless they've changed it. Don't be fooled, America. You know, stand up. Be vigilant. Don't leave it up to me. I can't protect you. I can protect myself. I can only protect you if you protect yourself. And please, don't come up with a holiday for this guy while he's still alive. Come on. You know, wait till after I'm gone before you make him a hero and a holiday guy. You don't do that with sitting people that are still alive. Look at Jose Canseco. They named a street after him down there in Miami, Little Havana or something. And this guy's a wife beater, liar, puke. John, I beg of you, please, there's 50-some million people that are counting on you to run interference, not join. Wake up. You folks that serve in the military, wake up. Remember what I said. You're the fist of this guy while his elbow is squishing your rights with inside this country. Hold him at bay and we can get through it. I hope this is a wake-up call to America. I truly do. I hope this is a wake-up call for America. God bless the United States. We're not dead yet as long as at least 10 million of you will hold him at bay because our politicians aren't doing it McCain except Secretary of Defense 